वेलकम टू वी लर्न दिस इज सेशन थर्ड ऑफ मैनेजमेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम कॉन्सेप्ट मेजर डी एस एस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स वाई यूज डी एस एस एक्सपोर्ट सिस्टम इंटेलिजेंट एजेंट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर न्यूरल नेट्स नॉलेज मैनेजमेंट एंटरप्राइजेस लेवल सपोर्ट हाइब्रिड सपोर्ट इवोल्यूशन ऑफ कंप्यूटराइज डी एस राइट सो फर्स्टली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम कॉन्सेप्ट डी एस एस आर इंटरक्टिव कंप्यूटर बेस्ड सिस्टम डी एस एस स्टैंड फॉर डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम दे आर बेसिकली इंटरक्टिव कंप्यूटर बेस्ड सिस्टम विच हेल्प डिसीजन मेकरस टू यूटिलाइज डेटा एंड मॉडल्स to solve unstructured problems unstructured problem means the problem which don't have defined exit criteria where there is a uncertainty that sort of problems comes under the category of unstructured problems decision support system couple the intelligent resources of individuals with the capability of the computer to improve the quality of decisions yes a decision support system basically make use the intellectual level of the human being and this intellectual level can be improved with the help of some it tools because this it tools helps to improve the capability of that decision maker by providing the solution solution of a particular problem in a quality way so decision support system is a computer based support system for management decision makers who deal with the semi structured problems right now major dss characteristics when we talk about the dss characteristics so kisi bhi decision support system mein hamesha ek important component involve hota hai that is called as a risk so if you are going to maintain the dss of any company so you have to highly focus on to the risk analysis by applying different management science principle you have to focus on to the risk part model scrutiny using experience judgment and intuition scrutiny aapko ek depth level pe check apply karna padta hai by using your experience judgmental skills and intuition that is the sixth sense because this sort of thing also plays an important role in the dss initial model mathematical mathematically correct but incomplete when we are using dss so everything should be mathematically correct dss provides very quick analysis this is one of the beautiful feature of the dss is that they provide a very quick analysis dss are flexible and enough and are responsive responsive means they allows a manager intuition and judgment you got my point next one is why use dss kya zarurat hai decision support system ko use karne ki now the answer of this particular question is because we are having some sort of perceived benefits of using dss that is why we are focusing on that part we are not focusing rather we are highly focusing on that on the usage of dss because they helps in improving the decisions quality improved communication is there with the help of dss and most important parameter that is a cost reduction because of dss we are able to reduce the cost to a level and ultimately cost is, is reducing and productivity is increasing with the help of with the usage of dss basically and ultimately time is going to be saved improve customer and employee satisfaction what else an entrepreneur wants basically so these are the excellent feature that are imparted by the dss that is why we are highly focusing on to the usage of dss right 
Now, what could be the major reasons of using DSS? That is, first one is unstable economy. Next one is difficulty in tracking numerous business objective. Increased competition. Electronic commerce commerce का ज़माना है. Existing system they do not support decision making. Yeah, it's true. Is department is too busy? If you want to find out the business of any department, so you can make use of its DSS model. Special analysis. There is a provision of applying special sort of analysis by means of management support system. Need accurate information. Organizational revener. New or timely information is needed. and it is mandated by management cost reduction that we have already covered and at last end user computing so these were the different reasons which has given birth to the dss other support system are group support system that is called as a gss executive information system eis and enterprise system that is eies now let us talk about the expert system or knowledge based system so when we talk about the expert system experts solve the complex problem very easily experts have specific knowledge and experience yeah it's true the more unstructured problem and situation the more specialized advice expert system basically offers a specific sort of advice to unstructured situations expert system are capable of mimic the human being or human experts ko wo mimic kar sakte hain mock kiya ja sakta hai uska expert system performance are comparable to or better than the expert in a specialized and usual narrow problem area expertise transferred from computer to human jo expert area hai usko transfer kiya ja sakta hai computers to human being mein right intelligent agent they helps to automate various tasks whosoever comes under the category of intelligent agent they are meant for reducing the physical effort by providing help of various tasks in an automatic manner and it, this thing ultimately is responsible for increasing the productivity and quality then intelligent agent are agents are able to learn how you work aapne kaam kaise kiya hai isko predict kiya ja sakta hai on the basis of intelligent agents let us talk about the artificial neural network when we talk about the artificial neural network it means we are talking about the different sort of things like mathematical models of the human brain ann learn pattern in data artificial intelligence in short it is called as a ann so ann basically learn the pattern in the data ann can work with partial complete or in exact information even if the data is incomplete or not exact still ann that is artificial neural network are able to proceed further next one is knowledge management system with the help of knowledge management system you are able to capture and reuse the knowledge at the organizational level knowledge repository is required for the storage right so knowledge management system is basically responsible for the storage of data for the near future organizational impact can be dram dramatic with the help of knowledge management system next we talk about the cutting edge intelligent system that involves the usage of genetic algorithm and work in an evolutionary evolutionary fashion fuzzy logic which involve the continuous logic not just 
ट्रू और फॉल्स इंटेलिजेंट एजेंट आर सर्च इंजन लाइक गूगल ई मेल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉमर्स दे और कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ इंटेलिजेंट एजेंट नाउ लेट एस डिस्कस दैट वॉट इज हाइब्रिड सपोर्ट सिस्टम हाइब्रिड सपोर्ट सिस्टम बेसिकली कम्बाइंस मैनेजमेंट सपोर्ट सिस्टम टेक्नोलॉजी इट यूज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ ईच टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इट्स गोल इज द सक्सेसफुल सोल्यूशन ऑफ द मैनेजरल प्रॉब्लम तो वी कैन हैव द बेटर मैनेजरल सोल्यूशन of different problems this is the basic goal of hybrid support system tools supports each other tools can add intelligence to traditional mss evolutionary view of cbis in short in the year of 1950s the entire computer based information system was said to be the tps that is transaction processing system In 1960s, it was termed as MIS. In the year 1970s, it was called as a office automation system. While in 1980s, its name get expanded, that is, commercial application of export system and executive information system. Next one is, in the year 1990s, it was called as a group decision support system. or neural computing or hybrid computer system and neural computing integrated right because computer evolved over time so systematic linkages are there in each system process data and information now let's talk about the relationship among the technologies each technology is of unique type and one technology is interrelated with that of the another technology now here we are discussing that what could be the relationship between available technologies or forthcoming technologies and each support each technology basically supports some aspects of the managerial decision making whether it's mobile it is internet facility it's a exchange server it's a web server and all this they ultimately helps in the managerial decision making power ever expanding role the of information technology improving management every day we keep on finding different technological tools different software different hardware which ultimately are improving the role of management there is a close interrelationship and coordination among different technologies right now let us discuss some strategic level planning this planning this strategic sort of planning is adopted by the top level executive in the organization they decide on the goals to be targeted and the different strategies to be adopted by the organization they include plans when we talk about the strategic planning so strategic planning basically includes a plan to acquire the resources to diversify research and development manufacturing a new product sales and marketing setting up the infrastructure and human resource planning so basically strategic level planning they have the plans for the getting input for materializing for processing of these inputs and then finally for producing the output right now there are different steps in strategic planning first one is you have to analyze the business environment first then analyze the available resources perspective of top management and group concern identify the advantages and disadvantages identify the market de demand next one is evaluate the competitive strength and next one is establish goals and strategies and at last there is an point that is efficient acquisition of the require, required resources that are mandatory for the strategic planning so operational level planning basically includes operational planning decision are based on to the investment and the cost control when we talk about the operational planning they are focusing on the investment and cost control the main objective is always to maximize the profit and minimize the cost this is the prime area or objective for any organization 
द इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड फाइनेंशियल कंट्रोल्स आर एस्टेब्लिश्ड दे इंक्लूड मैनेजरियल द मैनेजिंग द इन्वेंट्री द कैश फ्लो एंड फिक्स एसेट प्रॉपर बजट हैज़ टू बी एलोकेटेड टू द लेबर पूरा का पूरा जो बजट होता है दैट हैज़ टू बी एलोकेटेड टू द लेबर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एडवर्टाइजिंग एंड अदर ओवर हेड्स राइट सो विद दिस वी आर गोइंग टू फिनिश दिस सेशन बट बिफोर फिनिशिंग वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू टू क्वेश्चन दैट इज यू हैव टू एक्सप्लेन स्ट्रैटेजिक लेवल प्लानिंग यू हैव टू राइट द टेन पॉइंट्स फॉर द सेम and next one is what is hybrid support system right so you have to write the 10 points for the same and before like finishing this session let's take a revision to that what we have covered in today's session and the first topic a was what decision support system concept we have covered major dss characteristics why use dss major resources that we are requiring for implementation of the management support system other support system we have covered export system or knowledge based system intelligent agent artificial neural network in short it is called as a ann knowledge management system hybrid management system evolutionary view of dss then we are going to cover different strategies different steps in strategic planning operational level planning and operational level planning with this we are going to finish this session thank you